Now, I've been looking forward to Tuesday. A lot of people are going to be out reporting on this and maybe out looking up at the plains. Lainey, what are we looking at weather-wise? Well, I hope that Tuesday is going to be a dry day for us. I have the lowest rain chance this week for Tuesday, so optimistic and things are looking good so far. Well, you know, the holiday weekend, we've had a fair amount of sunshine. A lot of folks getting out, enjoying maybe the water. Check out Belize Lake. So crowded out there today. Heat, humidity, and yes, some late day storms. You can see the boats moving in as the clouds start to build across the area. Remember, folks, Yes, this is the season. If you are out on the water and you hear thunder, you've absolutely got to get to shelter as quickly as you can because you're at high risk. Take a look and you can see the rain that is still overhead. The storm started in the mountains and foothills and then started to build south and east toward the triad. So we still have a lot of wet weather. As we talked about at the top of the newscast, we do have a flash flood warning that is out until 2 a.m. And that includes Pennsylvania as well as Rockingham counties where we have seen easily some three to four inches in those areas they're shaded in orange and uh, overall one to two plus inches in many communities and all of that fell in just a span of a few short hours that causing some problems including a bridge at Stewart Creek that washed out that's not the only road that washed out in parts of Henry County also had a mudslide on Greensboro Road US 220 that blocked some traffic there as well we also have had some flooding concerns Concerns, urban and stream flooding across Guilford and Randolph counties no longer under a flood advisory, but there is still heavy rain that is overhead. Thankfully, not as much lightning as we had earlier today, but you can see the rain in eastern uh, Guilford into Alamance County, also now kind of shifting out of Randolph County. I'd say another couple of hours we have the opportunity for at least some steady rain. Then things will be quieter overnight. Some spotty light rain and fog as well as clouds as we start the day tomorrow. Our temperatures will likely be in the low to mid 60s from the triad to the foothills and even in the mountains early tomorrow. So a spotty shower chance lingering overnight. Our temperatures are warm and yet yeah, it is muggy. They're in the 60s across much of the area and we made it into the mid 80s this afternoon. Won't be as warm tomorrow. And in fact, I think we're going to be closer to normal for a large part of this week. Our rain chances, though, do build back, especially toward the end of the week. So we start off this week with only spotty showers and storms. So your Memorial Day forecast is largely dry. However, we probably won't see as much sun out there tomorrow as we had over the weekend. Thanks to that stationary front that is overhead, we will likely have a lot of clouds around. So I don't anticipate much measurable rain tomorrow, but kind of cloudy. They look like it's going to rain. I do have a slight chance for a passing shower during the day. Also a chance for an isolated shower storm in the afternoon with temperatures that are in the low to mid 70s from our foothill communities to the triad. And in the mountains, we'll look for high temperatures that are in the low 70s for your Memorial Day. Let's look ahead at this week. I do think the driest day of the week is Tuesday. Then we're going to bring back the rain and the storms, especially with a late week weather system on Thursday and Friday. All right, Lenny, thanks.